Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, your boy, and welcome back to PCW Bury Me Softly, brother. We finished up the first round, we finished up the second round, and now we're on to round number three to see who goes on to the Elite Eight. If this is your first time visiting a PCW video, well, welcome to the community. And let me tell you what it is. PCW is a monthly simulation tournament with wrestlers representing patrons from my Patreon that are in a tier of $10 or more. Every patron that signs up will be assigned a wrestler and will be put into a bracket. And every month we'll have a tournament to crown a PCW champion for that month. And then the champion then can go on to face for the PCW Worlds Championship, which is currently held by Wesley R. and Naito. As usual, I would love to hear in the comments after you finish watching, what was your favorite match of the video? Remember to leave a thumbs up to show your support. And let's uh, go ahead and jump into the first match. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Stefan J from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Johnny Gargano. And his opponent, on the way to the ring, representing Chris M from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Pete Dunn. I absolutely love both of these two dudes' entrance musics. Like, honestly, they're like, they're, they're incredible. I love it. I mean, a lot of people might hate on Rebel Heart, but I enjoy it. I think it's a good song, and Pete Dunn's is just badass. Like, it's just crazy. So, anyways, we have Pete Dunn versus Johnny Gargano in the first match of round number three. Pete Dunn, his PCW debut is this tournament, and he's done quite well for himself so far. He's in the Sweet 16 right now, looking to move on to the Elite Eight. We'll see if he can do just that, but first he has to go through Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano looking to move on to that next round, but Pete Dunn going to try to stifle him early. John, oh, the little disrespect, double foot stomp to the back. Hey, okay. It'd be like that sometimes. Little spinning back fist there from Pete Dunn as he goes to work on the arm of Johnny Gargano. I have to remember that Johnny Gargano's Gargano escape in this game is the yes lock. I forgot that in the first, uh, first round that Johnny Gargano was in, which, wow, thinking about it now, Johnny Gargano's had uh, quite a little run here, hasn't he? Well, Pete Dunn's going to try to shut that down. He's going to try to shut that down real quick. Pete Dunn now in the corner. Johnny Gargano with the body slam, sending him to the floor. Mm, I thought Johnny was going to fly. I don't think he is, though. Probably a smart decision to go in the center of the ring. Hey, if you ask me, I think everybody should be flying, but hey. Oh, nice little Frankenstein there from Johnny Gargano who goes in the corner. Wow, did you see the speed? And look at this. What? Pete Dunn. Innovating offense here from Pete Dunn, who was able to t oh a power bomb. Pete Dunn did not come to PCW to play around. This man is on fire, on absolute fire. Just a one count there for Johnny Gargano in the corner now as Pete Dunn gets snap soup. That was a crazy snap suplex with the kick will drop Johnny Gargano. Pete Dunn not wearing any knee pads. That's going to be tough. Into the corner. Oh wait. Oh. Oh my god, a German suplex into the corner. A turnbuckle German. And look at this. Pete Dunn is really giving it to Johnny Gargano this match. Uh oh, Johnny trying to do something from behind, but good. Johnny Gargano can't get anything started. The momentum is all on Pete Dunn right now. And wait a minute, just as I said that, Gargano escaped. But Pete Dunn's able to get out. We're in the center of the ring. We'll see what uh, Pete Dunn can do here to Johnny Gargano. Body slam sends Pete Dunn to the floor. Johnny gonna take a second and get some stamina back once again. Johnny is playing it very, very safe in this match. And while I would think that's the perfect way to go, sometimes uh, playing it safe ain't the way to go. Pete Dunn gonna get the upper hand on that exchange. Oh my God! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> I have never seen that. What in the world? That was crazy. Johnny from the top rope. Big double foot stomp, but Pete Dunn able to get out of the way. Step up in Zagiri. Near the center of the ring now as Pete Dunn throws him off the ropes. Goes for that back elbow there. But Johnny's going to get out of the way. Off the ropes. Big clothesline from Gargano. But now we have a reset. Eight minutes and 30 seconds into this matchup now. Oh, wait a minute. Pete Dunn was going for a pump handle. You never know where that could have gone. But Johnny Gargano is able to get out of it. Oh, off the top rope there. Johnny Gargano sends Pete Dunn to the floor, now trying to get something from behind. 
Neither man is going to let that happen. The forearms are flying here. And Johnny Gargano just went down on his neck. Pete Dunne in control of this match. Tries to hit it into Geary. And they're doing it again. The boys are going at it. The PCW Championship is on the line. Body slam there. Johnny Gargano, center of the ring. Which man will move on to the next round? <gasps> Gargano escape. Is Pete Dunne gonna give up? No. Pete Dunne gets right out of it. Picks up Johnny Gargano into the turnbuckle. Goes Petey. Oh, the big slap from Pete Dunne. Tries to go for the enziguri there, but Johnny's gonna move out of the way. Wait, Pete from behind, off the ropes. Both men hit each other, and now we have a reset 11-11 into this matchup. Pete Dunne picks up Johnny, drags him over. Pete Dunne now center of the ring with Johnny, but Johnny's gonna get behind Pete. Pete behind Johnny. Look at the back and forth. These men are so equally matched. Big clothesline from Johnny as he picks up Pete Dunne. Front missile drop kick from Johnny, but Pete's gonna answer the call first. He's got Johnny up. Johnny's gonna reverse. Center of the ring, the kicks to the noggin. Pete's looking to knock him out cold off the ropes. Big bulldog from Johnny Gargano. Oh, I don't know what he's going for there, but Pete's gonna be able to get out of it. A punch to the abdomen as he picks up Johnny Gargano in the center of this ring right here. The disc is forearm, but Pete Dunn blocks. Oh, he isn't gonna block that one. Pete Dunn back to his feet. Dropping the forearms. Pete Dunn picks him back up now as we're closer to the center of the ring. That bitch slap again from Pete Dunn, but a DDT will drop him. And now Johnny is up on that top rope with the big hail to the king. Johnny now center of the ring. Wait, Pete from behind into the turnbuckle. Big Enzigiri. This match has been nothing short of incredible. Pete Dunn has had performance after performance. Johnny sends him to the outside. Once again, Johnny going to take the safe route. We'll see if that safe route is what ends up being his demise as Pete Dunne now gets into the ring. Oh my! <laughs> what? This man Pete Dunne is wild! You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. And now the dudes are throwing at Pete Dunne and it's done in Zagiri. Johnny Gargano is woozy on his feet. Oh my God! Tiger suplex from Pete Dunne. Wait a minute. Oh, a big driver from Johnny Gargano. No, that's not going to be it. Pete Dunn throwing him into the corner now. Tree of woe from Pete Dunn. He is just kicking the hell out of Johnny Gargano. But Johnny wants that buzzsaw kick. Is he going to be able to get the victory? What is he looking for here as he waits for Pete to get up? A big flying clothesline off the top rope. He picks up Pete Dunn. Drops it to the floor. He could be. Oh, no. Pete was able to get up before the, the Gargano escape got him good. Back elbow to Pete Dunn. Super kick. <laughs> Big elbow drop. And now we have another reset at 17 minutes, 30 seconds into the first match of round number three. Dragging corkscrew from Johnny Gargano. Big drop kick to the back of the neck. The boys are really, really, truly doing it. Pete Dunn picking up Johnny Gargano, a big cutter. And now both men are reset. 18 minutes, 15 seconds into this match. Pete Dunn, no. Johnny Gargano! Gargano escape! And that's it! Johnny Gargano has made Pete Dunn tap out. And Johnny Gargano and Stefan J will be moving on to the next round in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Wow, what an absolute banger of a match. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Sydney W from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Kazuchka Okada. And his opponent, on the way to the ring, representing Chris D from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Drew McIntyre. In the match everyone has been waiting for, Battle Pants Okada versus Jeans Drew McIntyre. This might be one of the most looked to matches in the entire world of wrestling. How do you stop two men that wear pants of this caliber? Fun fact, did you know that Okada's mommy made those pants? That's right, 
Battle Pants Okada is endorsed by his mommy. Drew McIntyre, I don't know how you're going to beat a man of this caliber, but you can definitely try, and you definitely ain't going to beat him by trying to pin him on the outside of the ring, Drew, so you're going to have to do something a little different. We might have a double count on. These are just going to beat the hell out of each other. This whole What's going on here? Okada back in the ring. Drew back in the ring. 16 count. A count of 20 here in PCW. Oh, my goodness. My man turned a power slam into like a neck breaker, shoulder breaker type of thing there. Breaking off. He's going to do it again. This man, Drew, don't care. It's the jeans, I'm telling you. They change a man's mindset. Jawbreaker there from Drew McIntyre as Okada. Is really looking, he ain't looking too great right now, huh? Drew McIntyre really making quick work of Battle Pants Okada. Interesting. Swinging neckbreaker there from Okada as he goes for the pin on Big Drew. These men, two units right here. Oh, and here we go. We breaking it down early. Okada, Drew. Drew and Okada. And Okada's the one that gets the upper hand with the last punch, but Drew is back to his feet before you can even bat an eye. Why is that the phrase, bat an eye? You know what? I'm gonna look that up real quick. Bat an eye. Why is it not like blink an eye? You know what? What, what is the? What, you know what is the difference there? A related phrase is not bat an eye, as in he didn't bat an eye. Yeah, see, I don't. I don't get it. But nonetheless, get off the top rope there, Drew McIntyre. Okay, get off the top rope. Bat an eye. Bat. Huh. Whatever. Death Valley Driver. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god, he almost beat Drew McIntyre with that Death Valley driver right there. Wait a minute. Oh, Future Shot DDT out of nowhere! One, two. Damn, Okada didn't even get a chance to bat an eye. I didn't use that right. Okada off the ropes. Big drop kick to Drew McIntyre. The Future Shot came out of left field. But hey, if a Rainmaker comes out of left field, Drew's going to be reeling and peeling. Drew picked him up. Wait a minute. Big STO drop. Drew McIntyre. Okada looking over him, getting some stamina back. The man is groggy. Big German suplex from Okada. But wow, Drew McIntyre right back to his feet. Suplex there drops Okada. Dropping an elbow now on Okada. Okada trying to get back up. The punches back and forth. The two big men going at it. Okada now. Oh no, Okada is trying to get back up. He was trying to get that momentum started. But Drew McIntyre now going to drag him to the center of the ring. He might want that future shock again. No, he's just going to go for the pin straight up. 2.9 could got Okada with the kickouts, man. With the kickouts. He wanted that Rainmaker. I could see it. And that's future shock DDT. But he... Wait a minute now. Is he going to be able to get a three count? 2.9. He took too long. Okada. Oh, man. That could have been it. Okada going to go for the pin. Is he going to steal it off of Drew McIntyre? Oh, my God. The pants... Of Drew McIntyre constricted his movement, and Okada picks up the W out of left field. You never see those coming. Wow, you could bat an eye at. I, okay, we're done with that. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Tom C from Patreon.com forward slash C Impulse, Roman Reigns. And his opponent, on the way to the ring, representing Mary W from Patreon.com forward slash C Impulse, Rusev. And we have good old Baby Reigns facing off against Rusev here on Rusev Day and in the Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. We'll see if Baby Reigns can beat Rusev on his own day and in his own tournament or if Rusev will be the one to move on and do the thing here in this turn. Oh my goodness! Baby Reigns with the agility to jump over Rusev? I mean, look at the size difference here. We got Baby Reigns, the baby dog. <laughs> Versus big dog Rusev. The sidewalk slip. Two count. Oh, wow. Two count off of Roman Reigns. Rusev Reigns. Oh, a big splash in the corner. And that drops Rusev flush there. Look at the look at the delts of Baby Reigns. Look at the delt size comparison between Baby Reigns and Rusev, who literally just falls on him. He literally just falls on him. It's an interesting strategy, Cotton. Baby Reigns now trying to choke out Rusev. He's trying to get it done with his baby arms and baby legs. His baby goatee. 
Tries to go for the pin, just a one count on Rusev, who's able to kick out with the force you've never seen in your entire life. The big boot drops, baby reigns. Two count. Oh, he went, hey, you see that bicycle kick? Big headbutt there from Rusev. Now as Baby Reigns is thrown to the outside of the ring like a wet cloth. And now we're going to do a little bit of action here on the outside. No, Baby Reigns wants to be in the ring. Are we really going to go down like this? Roman Reigns and Rusev throwing back and forth hands, but Rusev's going to get the upper hand. <laughs> as Rusev gets behind Baby Reigns and drops him on his neck bone. But Rusev don't care about no neck bone. Oh, Rusev. Oh, wait a minute. Accolade on Baby Reigns. Is he going to give up? He wants the rope break, but there is none here in PCW. It's even harder for Roman Reigns because he's Baby Reigns. But Reigns and I got the same movement. Rusev said, not today. Not on Rusev Day. Big suplex to the center of the ring here as Baby Reigns picks up Rusev. Goes for a front missile drop kick. Just misses. Grabbing that head of Rusev. Hitting him in the noggin. The big kick from Rusev drops. Roman Reigns. Baby Reigns now with another suplex right in the middle of both of the turnbuckles. Interesting positioning there from the big baby dog. <laughs> Roman Reigns. Ow, ow, ow. Roman Oh my goodness. Rusev with the flip. Rusev with the bicycle kick. He wants that W. Is he going to get it? 2.9 as Baby Reigns is able to answer the pin count. My man is not going down just yet. He's putting his own version of the accolade on Rusev. Baby Reigns is bringing the heat. The punch to the abdomen from Rusev sends down Baby Reigns. Wait a minute. Big splutter suplex there on Roman Reigns. Both these dudes' names start with an R. That's... <laughs> It's a great fact for you. Rusev now off the ropes from Baby Reigns. Oh my goodness, Baby Reigns at the top rope with the big. That's a, did you just punch him in the dick? One, two. Yeah, I got two count off that. That would have been a three count. Sidewalk slam, Rusev sends Roman and look at the hands. He's throwing him in the hair. Oh no, oh no, oh no. The accolade on Baby Reigns. Is it coming to an end? Baby Reigns is able to get out. I'll be diddly damned. Rusev now picking up Baby Reigns' big forearm. Smash to the back of the neck bone as he tries to get some stamina back before he gets back up. He's able to turn that headlock into a back suplex there. Off the ropes, Rusev now. Oh, my big spinning kick. Wait a minute. Roman Reigns now. Hold on now, big dog. He drops that sit-out powerbomb. Oh, it's just a two as Rusev is able to kick out. And now Reigns is throwing Rusev into the corner. But Rusev with a big exploder in the corner. And we have a reset at 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Baby Reigns back to his feet. Rusev with the forearm smash. And the accolade on Baby Reigns. And that is all she wrote. Rusev and Mary W will be moving on in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Sorry, Baby Reigns. It just... You know, it's Rusev Day. The tournament's called Bury Me Softly, brother. I mean, the odds were stacked against you. You know, there's that against you. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Bury Me Softly, brother tournament. Introducing first, representing Nick J from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, the Brian Kendrick. And his opponent on the way to the ring, representing Zach R from Patreon.com forward slash C Impulse, the ace of the universe, Hiroshi Tanahashi. We have the ace of the universe. Hiro oh, my man, Hiroshi Tanahashi going to go for that dragon corkscrew right off the bat here. And we have the Brian Kendrick trying to prove to everyone in the world that he is the best. But to be the best, you got to beat the ace. Will he be able to take down Hiroshi Tanahashi and move on to the next round in the PCW tournament? We will see here in this match as he hits a suplex here. Look at this. Making Tanahashi choke himself with his own arms. Very interesting move there as Tanahashi now has got him in the corner where you know that high fly flow could come out at literally any point. Boston Crab here from Tanahashi. Of course, Brian Kendrick is not going to give up just off of that. Taking him out real quick, like. Off the ropes, big elbow. 
Oh, another clothesline there from Tanahashi. And Tanahashi is on a little tear here. The move's coming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, nice side rush and leg sweep. You don't see a lot of those moves anymore. As Oh, Kendrick going to get back into the matchup here. A little suplex, action snap, suplex sends both men to the floor with a reset. Now, wait a minute. What is this? Brain Buster from Tanahashi. Maybe giving a shout out to his fallen comrade, Ishii. As Brian Kendrick is now going for that shoulder, that bicep, that surgically repaired bicep, that shoulder's feeling the pain. Going for a pin there. No, no, no. Oh, wait a minute. Dragon corkscrew there. Sends him down with an elbow. And now both men center of the ring. Brian Kendrick going to send him down. Another side rushing leg sweep from Tanahashi now as we have a reset at 4 minutes 40 seconds into the matchup. Brain buster again from Tanahashi, but Kendrick said, I don't care about that. Oh, wait a minute. What is Tanahashi? Oh, Tana. Oh, my God. Did you see Tanahashi with the taunt? The total disrespect to the Brian Kendrick. I thought maybe we were going to see a high fly flow, but he came down and did the taunt. Another brain buster there on Kendrick, who is woozy poozy. Big drop kick to the back of the noggin, and Tanahashi is in full control of this matchup. Kendrick's going to need a momentum shift as he jumps over him, but Tanahashi is able to stop himself on the ropes. Snap suplex there from Kendrick, who has him in the middle of the ring. Drops an elbow. I thought maybe he was going to go for a basement slide drop kick or something. Tanahashi now brain buster on Brian Kendrick. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, again off the ropes. Drop kick to the back of the noggin. Okay, a little fireman's carry there by Brian Kendrick. Sends Tanahashi to the floor in the corner. Thought maybe we were going to see a high fly flow, but wait a minute. We got a package here by Brian Kendrick. Shoulders down. No, it's just going to be a two count. Once again, going for that arm of Tanahashi. Off the roast. Big spike. Frankensteiner here again with a choke here on Tanahashi. Is he going to give up? He is not giving up. And now my boys are going at it. Kendrick, Tanahashi, Tanahashi, Kendrick. Big super kick. But Tanahashi with the enzigiri, and he's the one that comes out on top of the exchange here. Big drop kick to the back of the head. Does he want that high fly flow? Not yet. Oh, wait a minute. We had a roll through there from Brian Kendrick. Shoulders down on Tanahashi, but Tanahashi's kicking out just at two. Taking out Tanahashi again. Wait a minute. What is this? An airplane spin from the Brian Kendrick. We're, we're going down deep into the bag of tricks for this match. Off the ropes goes the Brian Kendrick. Did you see the... Did you see that jump? The height on that. And then into the spike Frankensteiner. Another fireman's carry there from Brian Kendrick. Sends Tanahashi to the floor. Tanahashi with a spinning neck breaker. Picking him up. No, he went for the enzigiri, but it missed. Now Kendrick's got the upper hand. We're going to the outside of the ring, people. The commentator's booth are sitting right there. He's picking up Brian Kendrick on the outside. No, we're going to go against the... Barricade. I thought maybe he was going to throw him into the turnbuckle post, but no, into the barricade he goes. We got a 12 count, a 13 count. Brian Kendrick going to get his breath back in the center of the ring. Wait, another airplane spin from Kendrick. He's doing the spinnies. Drops Tanahashi to the floor. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? A big suplex there from Brian Kendrick in the middle of the ring. Oh, no. It is not looking good for Hiroshi Tanahashi. He's going to have to try to fire back with something of his own. A little neck breaker action that will happen there. Wait a minute. High fly flow from Hiroshi Tanahashi. And out of nowhere, just like that, Hiroshi Tanahashi and Zakar will be moving on to the Elite Eight. How about that, Tanahashi? Doing it down big. That high fly flow can come out of anywhere at any point at any time. My man was going to hit earlier, decided not to, and hey, he knew the timing to do it, and he's moving on. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Jordan J from Patreon.com forward slash C Impulse, Alistair Black. And his opponent on the way to the ring representing John W from Patreon.com forward slash C Impulse. He's from your neck of the woods, Big Bear. What a match this could be as Big Bear faces off against Alistair Black, the bear spin. 
Look at that! My man is wilding out! What is going on? Alistair Black has no idea what's happening right now. He's trying to figure out why he is facing a big-ass bear. But hey, that's PCW. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you signed that contract, boy? You know what you're getting yourself into? Big Bear again with the slam! Alistair Black has been able to do absolutely nothing. As Big Bear has been in full control of this match. There you go, Alistair. Starting to get a little back into it with a stretch, but Big Bear with a Big Bear splash! And now Alistair's trying to fire back with some kicks, but Big Bear is not letting that happen. Another body slam there from the Big Bear. Into the corner as Alistair back tries to get some kicks going on, but Big Bear doesn't care! Look at that power bomb! And now he's in the full mount! Alistair Black is not gonna give up off of those punches, but Big Bear is doing some damn damage. Short clothesline there as he hits him with a front missile drop kick while he was seated. And one bear punch, and he's in full mount again. The destruction from Big Bear. Off the ropes goes the bear. Alistair Black now hitting him back. Into the corner, Big Bear. Into the turnbuckle again, Big Bear. A Big Bear splash, and a straight punch! And the bear spin again! This man, Alistair, is about to be walking on stilts. Oh no, he's gonna try to stretch out the bear again. Could you imagine the bear giving up there? How crazy would that be? The kicks, the punches, and he's taking a bite out of Alistair Black! Three. And Alistair is bleeding! He is bleeding! This man really got a chunk taken out of his face! And now the bear is gonna drag him to the center of the ring. No, he's just gonna hit a bear splash right there in the corner, and now he's got the full mount again! Is Alistair Black gonna be able to stop this barrage? I mean, the man is bleeding all over the mat right now. He went for that bear uppercut. Off the ropes, and a straight jab again from Big Bear, and a Big Bear splash on the bleeding Alistair Black! And that is all she wrote! Big Bear and John W. are moving on to the next round. Five minutes and 35 seconds. Big Bear is showing off in this tournament, man. He is showing off. Damn, Big Bear. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Barry Me Softly Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Mr. Weston from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he is the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. And his opponent, on the way to the ring, representing the Irish born from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Charlotte. Flare. Jeff Hardy has been setting the PCW world ablaze. And now Charlotte will have to see if she can extinguish that fire here tonight and keep the Flair name in PCW. Bury me softly, brother. See if she can get it done, because Jeff Hardy has been an anomaly. This man has been breaking out moves you never thought you would see here in PCW, but he does it down big. He truly doesn't care. You can chop. Look, at, look he's sticking his chest out. He said, chop me, please. Please chop me, baby. Yo, no way. Oh, she's just gonna go for the figure four. I thought she's gonna turn to the figure eight already. I was about to say, there's no way. Charlotte's really about to let it happen this early. Jeff Hardy gonna drag Charlotte out. That single leg Boston Crab. Go from the leg skis of Charlotte Flair. Oh my goodness, just dragging Jeff Hardy around by his hair. Jeff from behind gonna grab her stomper in the back of the neck bone. And now Jeff has got Charlotte right where... Oh, oh, whoa! What a roll through there from Jeff Hardy, but not even a one count just yet for the queen herself, Charlotte Flair. She went for a... Looked like a basement drop kick there. Maybe going for the legs of Jeff Hardy, but whatever it was did not hit as Hardy comes through. Um, Jeff? I gotta, I gotta tell you something. Oh, the woo from Charlotte! As Jeff gets back in the ring. And now they're kind of... Looking each other down as Jeff with the full mount. He is. Look at these punches. The slap there from Charlotte will get Jeff Hardy off of her. And now. Oh, here we go. The chops from Charlotte. The punches from Jeff. We'll see who comes out on top here. Jeff is the one that does it with the punches, but Charlotte is back to her feet already. A kick to the abdomen there from Charlotte Flair. As she goes for the leg, she wants that figure four. She's got it again. Is Jeff Hardy going to give up here? No, he is not going to give up just yet. Off the ropes goes Charlotte now in the corner. She sits as Jeff hits him with that single leg drop kick. 
A forearm there to the back, but Charlotte, she wants them legs again. She's got it again. The figure four shouts out to her daddy, 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 daddy. Oh, wait a minute. Twist of fate from Jeff Hardy. He's going to go for the pin. Is that going to be enough? No, just a two count off of Charlotte. Flair, he goes for a kick out of nowhere, but Charlotte was able to move out of the way. I don't know how she was able to see that coming. Maybe a Sharingan. Who knows what she's got in the eye there. A two count. Jeff Hardy. Throws Charlotte off the ropes there. Back body drop from Jeff. Single leg Boston Crab. The Fire Pro Special. They're really going at it now. Charlotte with the body slam off the ropes. Big knee to the noggin there of Jeff Hardy. A slap off the chest. Exploder suplex. Shouts out to Becky Lynch from the top rope. Charlotte. No, she's going to get down. Okay. Jeff Hardy with Enzigiri. Maybe a misstep from her as Jeff now. Swan time bomb to the back. And the roll through from Jeff Hardy. And it's just a two count as Charlotte Flair is able to kick out. I don't know how she's doing it, but she's keeping herself alive here in this tournament. She's now on the top rope, and this is a dangerous place to be. But Charlotte, whoa, a big knee from the top rope to Jeff Hardy as she picks him up here. Wait a minute. Okay, a roll through there from Jeff Hardy. Off the Frankensteiner into a pin. No, that's not going to be enough as Charlotte hits him with the chop. Jawbreaker there from Jeff. That's classic Jeff right there. Gets behind Charlotte, but Charlotte's going to be able to reverse a chop. Goes for a drop kick. Charlotte going to say no to that. Exploder suplex courtesy of Becky Lynch once again from Charlotte. You know them being best friends and all that. Center of the ring as Charlotte throws Jeff into the corner. Uh-oh. Top rope sitting Jeff Hardy. Wait a minute. Superplex from Charlotte Flair. And Jeff is now a little woozy poozy. But a gut wrench suplex will send Charlotte closer and closer to that turnbuckle where is exactly where Jeff Hardy wants to. Wait a minute, Charlotte now. And there's no way. Again, Charlotte. Again with the moonsault to the floor from the top rope. Charlotte is truly giving it her all in this tournament. A backbreaker there from Charlotte as she tries to put more and more damage into Jeff Hardy before getting back into the ring. One can presume. Unless Charlotte has decided to just go ahead and get this count out and try to hurt Jeff Hardy. But Jeff... Back in the ring now, Charlotte off the ropes, but no, she ran into the turnbuckle, and Jeff Hardy with a swat top bomb! There's no way, Charlotte Flair made a thrill! Oh my god, Charlotte Flair just wrote her own finish as Jeff Hardy and Mr. Weston move on to the next round. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Jordan D from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Neville. And his opponent, representing William C from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he lies, he cheats, he steals, Eddie Guerrero. What a dream match this is as we have Neville and Eddie Guerrero facing off to see who will move on to the next round and be part of the Elite Eight of PCW Bury Me Softly, brother. Who will it be as Neville goes off the ropes here with a drop kick to Eddie Guerrero? And Eddie is looking for that quick victory there as he rolls through on Neville and gets his shoulders down, but it's not going to get anything. Hurricane Rana there from Eddie G, who is looking to put the brakes onto Neville. Suplex there from Eddie Guerrero as Neville now is looking to shift that momentum back with the clothesline, but it's not going to happen. That suplex will happen, though, and he is going to go for that arm of Eddie Guerrero. Eddie's able to get out of it. We're near the ropes. Both men, five-star frog splash versus the red arrow. We'll see which one will come out on top here. Of course, both men have a plethora of other moves to use, but those are their most popular. Going into the turnbuckle here. Big neck breaker there from Eddie Guerrero, who once again is going to get the submission here on Neville. Oh, shooting star press from Neville. Maybe in his younger days, Eddie Guerrero would WCW, maybe. Eddie's got a quite a little different style here than he used to back in the day. Now they're going to go to the showdown here. Throwing off forearms now. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And Eddie Guerrero finally goes down. Neville getting the upper hand here. 
Neville now in the turn buckle as Eddie Guerrero runs at him, tries to go for something, but Neville's going to get out of the way. Red Arrow! Out of nowhere! And it, oh my goodness, Neville with the rings of Saturn locked in. This man went from, th that's crazy. He was looking for that W. We've seen it before. We do it again. Neville does not play around. Hurricane Rana there from Eddie Guerrero, who is trying to get the momentum back on his side, but who knows if he'll be able to do it, especially after that combination. The red arrow into the rings of Saturn. That's one damn deadly move. I've seen that in real life done exactly once. Neville now in the corner. Eddie Guerrero with a snap suplex there. Will he be able to hit that frog splash? We'll see. As both men go towards the ropes here. Big super kick from Neville. Drops him. Another red arrow coming up. No, he's going to wait for Eddie G to get up. Big front missile drop kick to the back of the neck of Eddie Guerrero. Oh, wait a minute. Neville with the reversal snap suplex there on Eddie Guerrero. Eddie's looking a little woozy poozy. Will he be able to get back into it? Neville up with the red arrow on the back. Is he going to do it again? No, he's just going to go for the pin this time around. He isn't going to get the give up. He just wants the pin. 2.9. Eddie Guerrero kicks out. Arm drag. Eddie to the top. No, he goes for the senton. I thought maybe we were going to see the frog splash. He goes for a kick. Eddie Guerrero throws him to the outside there, and Eddie's going to take a moment to get his breath back, playing it safe. Don't know if that's the best strategy here, but hey, he's the one in the ring, not me. Neville's shoulders are down. Eddie Guerrero trying to get the pin. Not going to happen. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Here comes that double fisherman to the fisherman brain buster. That is quite the move there from Eddie Guerrero as he tries to get behind Neville. Off the ropes goes Neville into a big... Did you see that single leg lariat there? That was something else there. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to roll. Oh, here's that pin again. He's making him eat his gooch. In the corner now, Neville and Eddie G fighting it out. Big DDT there, but it causes a reset at 8 minutes 50 seconds in this matchup. Goes for the drop kick there from Eddie G, but Neville moves out of the way. A big Frankensteiner will drop him. Another red arrow there from Neville. Is that going to be enough? 2.9. No, it's not enough as Eddie Guerrero sends him to the outside of the ring. Oh, and he's flying, baby. Eddie Guerrero putting it on the line here against Neville. Oh, he's trying to do something, but Neville going to get out of the... Whoa, deadlift German suplex from Neville. They are really fighting here on the outside of this ring. In the corner now, Eddie G. Wait a minute, Eddie. Frog splash. And that's enough! Eddie Guerrero and William C. will be moving on to the next round. The perseverance of Eddie Guerrero to be able to kick out of everything Neville threw at him. I mean, Eddie has a very, very solid shot of coming out as the champion of this tournament. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Julian B. from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Scott Steiner. And his opponent, coming to the ring, representing Dean L. from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Kevin Owens. And now for the final match of round number three, we have the April 2018 King himself, Scott Steiner, facing off against big dog Kevin Owens. Will Scott Steiner be able to keep the dream alive of doing a two-peat, winning the April Championship and winning the May Championship? Well, first he'll have to defeat Kevin Owens. We'll see if he can do it. Scott Steiner representing Julian B. this time around. Kevin Owens representing Dean L. Which one will be moving on? The last person to round out the Elite Eight. We will see as Kevin Owens drops Scott Steiner like a sack of hot rocks. But Steiner is not going down just yet. I mean, look how agile this big dude is. I mean, that goes for both of them, to be completely honest with you. But Scott Steiner is just on a whole other level. This man's a genetic freak. He's not normal. He was going for the legs there of Kevin Owens. But Kevin Owens is going to kick out. Smart decision on his end. Tries to go for a suplex, but... Just too strong, baby. He's just too strong. Scott Steiner chasing down on Kevin Owens now. Dropping a forearm. Smash the back of his neck there. Scott Steiner in the corner here. Dropping him like a sack of hot rocks. Oh, Dragon Sleeper. Look at the muscles on lock right there. Smart move there from Scott A. Just a one count, though. Scott going to throw him over his shoulder real quick like. Going for a shoulder tackle there, but that ain't going to be it. Belly-to-belly -belly suplex sends Kevin Owens to the center of the ring now. And he's going for the gonads. 
That's interesting decision there from Scotty, who goes for a Steiner line. Another power bomb there from Scott. Who's oh, going to the top rope? What is he doing here? Scotty with a shoulder tackle from the top rope. The avalanche shoulder tackle. An interesting move for sure to see from Scott Steiner. But hey, the man's doing it big. Scott trying to chase him, but a little slow there. Maybe the taunting. Belly to belly suplex there from Scott Steiner, who goes to the top rope again. Dropping a big elbow. This man's breaking it all out. The agility of the big guy. Steiner line there, but he's going to miss it there. Kevin Owens going to drag him to the center of the ring. Go for them leg bones. The knee pads are really going to help Scott there. Off the No, I thought he was going to go off the ropes, but he goes into the turn. A Liger kick from Kevin Owens in the corner. It's just a one count from Scott, who throws a punch of his own and drags Kevin back to this corner. He said, you're going to get this work today. Kevin Owens said, no, you are going to get this work today. Just a one count as Scott kicks out, and we're right back to the corner we were at just a second ago. Kevin's trying to get him away from that corner, but Scott has something he wants to do in that corner. And now both men are staring each other down. Big exploder suplex there from Scotty. Scotty! Scotty! Into the corner goes Scotty. Kevin Owens now. Uh-oh, the punches. Four. That's four solid punches in a row. Big frog splash from Kevin Owens. But Scott Steiner doesn't look phased as he hits a big splutter suplex there in the corner. Picks Kevin back up, but a face wash from Kevin will change around the momentum. Samoan drops, sends Scott Steiner to the floor on the outside as Scotty gets back into the ring here. And now the boys are about to throw down. Owens throwing punches. Steiner throwing punches. Big clothesline, but a big shoulder tackle from Big Popper Pump himself, Scott Steiner. A big backbreaker there from Kevin Owens going for the pin on Scott Steiner trying to take the April champion out of the tournament, but it's not happening just yet. A dropping punch there from Scott Steiner who's giving him a little taunt action. Steiner line picks up Kevin Owens with a face wash from KO. And now the punches are coming through. KO from the top. Frog splash. Is that going to be enough to steal the win over Scott Steiner? No, just a two count. As Steiner picks him back up. Hey. Steiner screwdriver still on deck at some point. He hadn't broken it out just yet. Didn't need to. Maybe you will for this match. We'll see how things go. Oh, big Frankensteiner there from Scott Steiner. And that's it! The Spike Frankensteiner sends KO packing. And Scott Steiner continues on to the Elite Eight in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Hey. The Frankensteiner. Why you think they call it that, baby? Nice little Frankensteiner. Hey, I can dig it. I like what I'm seeing there as Scotty rounds out the Elite Eight. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember, if you did, to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of that goody goody. And of course, I would love to hear what your favorite match was down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next round. See you.